ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਸੰਚਾਰ ਟੀਵੀ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਅਰਸ਼ਦੀਪ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਇਸ ਖਾਸ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਮਿਊਨਿਸਪਲ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਗੋਟ ਅ ਨਿਊ ਮੇਅਰ ਨਿਊ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰਸ ਨਿਊ ਸਿਟੀ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰਸ ਸੋ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਓ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਨਿਊ ਸਿਟੀ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਡਕ ਮਕਲਨ ਟੀਮ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਡਾ ਲੋਕ ਲੈਟਸ ਟਾਕ ਟੂ ਹਰ ਲੈਟਸ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਹਰ ਐਂਡ ਲੈਟਸ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦ ਸਰੀਜ਼ ਇਸ਼ੂਜ਼ ਵਿਦ ਆਰ ਹਰ ਪ੍ਰਾਇੋਰਟੀਜ਼ ਵਾਟ ਸ਼ੀ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਇਨ ਨੈਕਸਟ 4 ਇਅਰਸ ਸੋ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਬ੍ਰੈਂਡਾ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਐਂਡ ਕੰਗ੍ਰੈਚੂਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਟੂ ਵਰਕ ਵਿਦ ਦ ਨਿਊ ਟੀਮ ਨਿਊ ਕਾਉਂਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਵਰਕ ਨਿਊ ਕਾਉਂਸਲਰਸ ਸੋ ਕੰਗ੍ਰੈਚੂਲੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਵਾਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਹਮ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਆਲ ਨਿਊ ਏਵਰੀ ਸਿੰਗਲ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਪੀਪਲ ਔਨ ਕਾਉਂਸਲ ਆਰ Mm-hmm. are new and so we're all trying to find our way around mm-hmm. uh, not only city hall but the administration and how we do business and how the city does business mm-hmm. yeah. that's great and that's how you can work as a team and build a new team and work for the city because there are many sh- issues to work for uh, 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 as a city councilor uh, Doug McCullen he was mayor before and now he elected again uh, so how was the uh, a few meetings council meetings and your discussions what was the discussions and few meet- meetings what you discover from them well we hit the ground running there's no doubt about that i mean we came out the gate on the day that we were um uh sworn in uh we started with our first two big motions mm-hmm. and the first one was to review the RCMP contract and that happened mm-hmm. and uh, so that's part of the process and the second thing was to uh, go for SkyTrain rather mm-hmm. than LRT. I love it. Mm-hmm. And I think um, that both of those are very big, big projects concerns, yes. and big concerns to the to the to citizens. The cities. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how the uh, the discussion going and because uh, now we are having LRT, uh, not LRT, we are having SkyTrain and uh, like everybody wants now uh, SkyTrain. So how's this process going on? Well, the, the process is an extraordinary shift because of course everybody had already built uh the plan and and started to uh look to that plan mm-hmm. to do LRT. So, first of all, we had to sort of stop that process which wasn't um that's a process in itself is mm-hmm. to switch gears if you will. So, we have now done that. Um now we're working with TransLink. The mayor is uh on the mayor's council and working directly with the mayor's council on those those issues and uh no no easy task because um the mayor's council previously had supported um LRT and mm-hmm. so there was some real shifts and and convincing that mm-hmm. our mayor had to do uh to get all the the wheels in motion if you will to start working on the sky mm-hmm. train mm-hmm. and so we'll start we'll start down that path very mm-hmm. very shortly. Yeah, it's a big uh, tr- uh, transmit because uh, 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 for Skytrain they need more funds, more uh, planning. So we will wait for that. Uh so for um, uh, mayor uh, mayor's council meetings, uh, we discovered we, there is loss of death on a city right now uh, and some uh, bef- uh the mayor before she told that they are calculating uh, the funds f- uh, until 2021 mm-hmm. so what is uh, your concern about it because sari has lots of debt now right now yeah so that's a that's a good point because that was one of the the meetings that we did have mm-hmm. um was to to um reassign the five year rolling budget mm-hmm. that the city is mm-hmm. um involved in um i can tell you that there was a difference in that vote and i was one of the people that didn't vote with um with the mayor's uh, with the mayor but that's fine um i think that's one of the things about mayor mccallum that is very positive that mm-hmm. he doesn't uh he doesn't whip votes or tell anybody how they vote so we vote with our own conscience um the the debt of the city um Mayor McCallum runs a pretty tight ship and he wants the city to be debt free. Um from my perspective, I think there's a difference between operating um debt and capital debt. And so I'm more supportive of capital mm-hmm. debt because mm-hmm. that's an asset. Mm-hmm. And uh so I supported um the building of the arena for example at Cloverdale which if you're 
living in Surrey, everybody's Mexico. been hearing about mm -hmm. the uh, Cloverdale mm -hmm. um, arena getting canceled. I would be more supportive of that kind of capital debt. Mm -hmm. I, I fully recognize we have to be careful on uh, operating debt, but on capital debt. I think we have to build the infrastructure in the city. We have a large and growing population, mm -hmm. very young population, True. and we have to provide those outlets for youth. So, um, moving forward, uh, we start to review the, the um, budget which is rolling, mm -hmm. we start to review that again probably around May. Hmm. And uh, I will still be pushing for the Cloverdale um, Arena and some of the other, mm -hmm. uh, some of the other capital projects that mm -hmm. uh, kind of got postponed in the last mm -hmm. round. As you said, you are reviewing the budget again in May yes. because uh, they are giving free parkings and right now they need money and now they are already in debt. That's our that's the main concerns. Yeah. Uh, that is that's the, the city, the mayor thing they will do. But right yeah. now, I am talking about you. What are your priorities? As you said, you are pushing to the arena, but uh, uh, like other priorities you work on. One of my most important priorities, and there's no question in my mind, is to find locations for affordable housing and second stage housing. In Surrey, um, we built a bunch of temporary housing for people, um, residents that uh, were homeless in Surrey. And so um, my priority is to get those facilities up and running and built mm -hmm. within the next year, year and a half. Because um, if you've been in the Wally area of Surrey, you will have seen these big trailer uh, pads and they're um, like old ATCO uh, trailers mm -hmm. from, from a logging camp or something. Um, those are right now housing almost 200 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we only have that land for a year and a bit. And at that point, we have no place for these people to go. Mm -hmm. So we need to, we need to get that housing and that, um, that kind of specialized housing ready for those people. Mm -hmm. Because homelessness is a big concern. Uh, we had survey uh, last year, so which, which say, uh, says seniors are homeless as well as there are young people who are homeless. That's a big concern because they need a home, they need shelters. Uh, so uh, uh, as, as a, uh, on the federal level, they are working as a, a province level to the city level. We need to, to uh, concentrate on that. So homelessness, is there any plan in your mind or you are working or you are going to work on or you are going to discuss with the city? Well, I'm, I'm very happy to be um, and honored to be mm -hmm. able to chair the uh, social planning committee for the city. For the city. Uh, and I think it's important, and you mentioned seniors, and you're so right. Um, that's been a bit of the shift that's happened in Surrey in the last maybe year, mm -hmm. where we've seen so many more seniors that either are subsidizing their, their housing and having to come to places like Surrey Urban Mission to get a meal, mm -hmm. or just are homeless, and that's tragic. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, at the mission serving just actually on New Year's Day and and had to hold the door because there were so many people coming in with walkers. walkers. That that tells you a story that is not a very good one. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, we absolutely have to uh, do a better job and mm -hmm. we can and we will. Mm -hmm. um, I've met with BC Housing because they're the ones that fund mm -hmm. those projects. They're really happy to we find the land, they're happy to be there to do the operating and the build. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm excited about that and I'm hopeful that communities will embrace it as well. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And uh, uh, one more thing, Surrey is dealing with gangs mm -hmm. and drugs. So that's a big concern as well because the young people are involved into that because they are future of Surrey. If they are involved in drag, gangs and drugs, so future will be in danger. So what are you planning on that? You know, um, I think that's a, it's a critical place, place for Surrey yes. to mm -hmm. be um, at at this time. And we have been 
working hard with groups like Wake Up Surrey, um, just all the schools to try mm -hmm. and figure out how we can better address those needs and mm -hmm. there is no doubt uh, the federal government is stepping up now and I, I believe there's going to be a, an announcement soon about mm -hmm. significant federal dollars coming to Surrey just for that reason. But that goes back to my other piece about infrastructure. Mm. If we don't build infrastructure for youth, they're going to find something to do somewhere else. Mm. So from my perspective, let's build the community, the places for community to gather, let's build places for, for kids to have recreational facilities, mm -hmm. or just to come and be. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have great facilities like libraries, but ice arenas and and uh, other places for kids to come and, and be together are really important in being not only able to occupy kids, but also identify kids that may become at risk. Mm -hmm. That's true. We have to come together to do something for the kids so that they can uh, be, uh, they, they won't be involved in drugs and gangs so that they can more concentrate on their studies, on their future. Uh, right now, it's a time for a break. After break, I'll ask Brenda about other issues, what are their plans, what they want to do for the city of Surrey. Let's take a break. We will be right back after a short break. Welcome back after a short break. The Khas Mulakat de Vich Galbat Huriya Brenda Lok Dena Joki Councillor Ne City of Sari de Vich Jinanto Ajapochreya Kyuna Ne Key Priorities Ne Kina de Ute Hukam Karna Jandene Jimiki Sapto Vadigal Unane the Seki City de Vich Jo Horna Tak. हो चुके हैं है गया इन दिया मीटिंग्स हो चुकी हैं उन्हें वैसे सब तो बड़े दो मुद्दे विचारे गए हैं कि एक स्काई ट्रेन नू लेके ते एक बड़ा जड़ा चल रहा है गा आरसीएमपी नू लेके उन्हें बारे हज़ में क्वेश्चन इन्हें तो पूछना है कि आरसीएमपी दे बारे इन्हें तो की क्या लग गया सो ए कहते जिदा कि ये सीनियर्स नू भी होवे ते बच्चे आनू ये कहने आ कि इन उन्हें उते कंसंट्रेट करने दी लोड़ा ताकि ओ हो अपने जिदा एरिनास है गया जहाँ रिक्रेशन सेंटर है गया उते जाके खेड़ना दे विच जाते आने दें उन्हें दे लाई भी ये ही कम कर रहे हैं इन दिए प्रायोरिटीज ने ते होन अगे uh, we were talking uh, about the kids before, like they need. So, uh, if uh, we are talking about pre uh, preventions, or uh, so kids, how can uh, kids can be uh, out of the drugs and uh, the gangs? Uh, you can talk. About well, that. you know, this isn't, this is not an easy question, and it's not a a one shot fix. It's, it's a long process. It's something that we have to talk about with parents with grandparents, um, with schools, and everybody has to be involved in the dialogue. The, the beginning of, of a baby is when you start. It's really right from the beginning when you're talking to that little baby and, and uh, they're growing up and they become toddlers and it's all how they, they see their parents interact, they see their families interact. All those pieces come together at some point to uh, make a good citizen. But I think from the city's point of view, um, where we really want to see the city participate is giving those kind of outlets to parents, to families, and, and especially to children and youth uh, so that they can, they can recreate, whether it's sports they're in or maybe they're in the arts. Um, Surrey has some, some great opportunities for uh, children that want to be in the arts. And we need to we need to encourage that. Um, we also need to encourage kids 
and, and teenagers to be good citizens. That's something we don't really spend a lot of time okay. is talking about citizenship. But it's important. It's important for, for our youth to understand what it is to be a good citizen in our, mm -hmm. in our, uh, in our city. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there's lots of great volunteer opportunities that are not just work. They're actually pretty fun. So, Brenda, I asked you that one of the children who have taken a plan for the children to be involved in drugs. So, they said that this is a small process, not a big process. It doesn't come to mind that they have snapped and the children have been out of drugs. So, when they are little, the toddler, the children, the parents, the grandparents, the parents, 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 यह ही कहने आया कि स्पोर्ट्स है गया जो आर्ट्स है गया उधे ले बहुत सारे उन ना दे कोल चांस है गया कि वो हो आर्ट्स वाल जा सकते हैं स्पोर्ट्स वाल जा सकते हैं सो उधे ले उन ना नू पता होना चाहिए था कि एक गुड सिटीजन जड़ा की हुंदा या सो उन ना दे की रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज़ है ताकि वो हो इन्ना गैंग्स दे ड्रग्स दे विचो बाहर आ जान सो ब्रेंडा आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आरसीएमपी एंड लोकल पुलिस बिकॉज़ डेल्टा हैज देयर ओन पुलिस बर्नबी हैज आरसीएमपी बट देयर इज लेस क्राइम देन सिटी सिटी ऑफ सरी एंड डेल्टा दे we want the uh, some people want local police and some people want RCMP now uh, what is uh, the city's concern now are we having local police or are we are get, uh, having more RCMP members so that they can take care of it I think uh, I think the one thing that you mentioned about is having more RCMP and we definitely need to do that, do that. Um, the process of getting to um, to understanding whether or not we're going to have uh, RCMP or city police is is really something we have to spend time on. It's not um, it's not again nothing's easy, but mm -hmm. it, it's not um, a simple yes or no. We have to make sure we really do our homework on that. Um, that's something that uh, that I want to do. I know that we also want the public to be engaged in this process because at the end of the day, it is the public's police force and the public will be paying for this. There is no question yeah. that um, a civic police, a city police, will be expensive. There is no question about mm -hmm. that. We know yeah. that. Um, how much that looks like, we don't know yet. Yeah. So it's getting all those pieces together and that's the process we're in right now, is trying to figure out what is the cost mm -hmm. and a big, a big issue is what kind of human resource can we can we hire? Mm -hmm. So who can we hire to be police officers? Um, I, I've done some research on my own. I know right across Canada and actually all of North America, it is very difficult to hire police, police officers. officers. Yeah. So it's not that simple. Somewhere we have to come up with um, 1,200 troops, 1,200 members. members. Mm -hmm. and. Um, when you look at the RCMP right now, we're at about 820, 8, 830 in Surrey. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of, a lot of, as they say, boots to fill to get us there. Mm -hmm. Hiring that top cop, the the head person, that seems to be the easy one to find. It's mm -hmm. it's just the rank and file yeah. officers. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to be challenged. So, you know, we have those two big things that we have to look at. Mm -hmm. And one is the cost, and one is is the human resources. Human resources. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a, that's a point that if we have um, human resources, then you guys can hire them, or or we need uh, uh, funds to get them hired because we need more funds to get. If if some if uh, we want the local police, they need more funds because it's not a, a, a small process; it's a big uh, uh, process. Uh, as a city councillor. Uh, no many uh, many people talk about mental health so mm -hmm. mental health on workplace at on their uh, uh, the one each uh, it's a really important what do uh, you want to do for the mental health illness because many people are suffering from mental health illness so it's really uh, important that people aware of mental health what do you want to say about that uh, you know i think that thank you for bringing that up because it's such an important topic and 
One of the things, uh, when I was in provincial government, I was a Minister of State for Mental Health and Addiction Services. I can tell you in those days when I would talk about mental health in, in different groups and different communities, it was like I really had said something nobody mm -hmm. wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that today. So I'm really happy. That is in about 15 years. We've seen a real change in people's um, attitudes. Mm -hmm. and, and that's so important because one of the biggest challenges for people that are suffering from mental, mental health or their families mm -hmm. that, that are supporting a person mm -hmm. with, with mental health issues is are they going to be stigmatized? Mm -hmm. are they, is there a stigma that's going to mm -hmm. make them not seek treatment or, or whatever or not admit to their challenge? So I think that's really important that we now have become a society that will talk about these mm -hmm. things and, and I'm very grateful for that. Mm -hmm. I think just continually remembering, and I can tell you one of the things I was very proud about um, was Surrey. We now, with um, all the events, when we have events in the city of Surrey, one of the things we are putting in every event is special quiet places for kids that, have, um, that are on the spectrum. So if they mm -hmm. have ADHD and they need that quiet time or uh, whatever it is, that they need the quiet time. Mm -hmm. So we've become more conscientious and conscious of that as a, as a community and as a society. Mm -hmm. I think that's a, a real positive. Mm -hmm. uh, hospitals. Mm -hmm. We need hospital in right. Surrey because uh, every, uh, every month immigrants are coming, like <clears throat> more than 800 immigrants are coming every month, data says. Uh, so be, uh, population is growing. So hospital for hospital, we have only one hospital here. Mm -hmm. So we need more hospital and uh, 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 government promised that we are going to get one more uh, hospital. And uh, what do you think of when we can have, we will have the hospital because we really uh, need a hospital for the people. Right, and, and boy do we ever, there's mm -hmm. no question. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I think when I look at Surrey and I've lived here for 40 years, so I've been here a long time since Surrey was, I don't know if we were maybe 150,000 people then, we're now 500 and about 550,000 people, mm -hmm. so we've grown. Yeah. But if you look at Surrey Memorial Hospital and what has happened there, it's been, there has been tremendous growth at that campus. So that care campus at Surrey Memorial has grown tremendously. We now also have Jimmy Patterson, which has yes. been a huge bonus mm -hmm. um, for people that need outpatient care too. The other, um, but we need a new hospital. Yes. So the provincial government has said they were going to do that. That was a big mm -hmm. promise in the last provincial election. Which Hopefully it, we will get they, one yes, soon. Yes, that everybody's <laughs> hanging on to. Yes. Hmm. Um, but from the city's perspective, we are really supportive of that. And, and I know that uh, the mayor, and I've talked to him about this, as well as all of the councillors, have been looking for that location. And we're quite happy. Mm -hmm. um, we have w a couple of pieces of land we're looking at that are mm -hmm. city land that will be gifted to this project. And um, so we're, we're still in the, the throes of thinking about that, but it's, very, it's critically important to mm -hmm. this city. Mm -hmm. uh, if I will talk about 2019, what is uh, your plans for 2019? Because uh, 20, uh, we can say 2019 is the first year of your council and people want to see changes, but I know the changes will not come in a snap, so it will take time. But planning for this year, what, what are your plans? My, my plans, because I'm, I'm on the social planning committee, mm -hmm. uh, my plan are all around what kind, of, uh, what kind of supports we can give to people in need and how can we continue to develop um, not only those pieces, but the diversity pieces that go with it. So my, my big plan is to try and find five locations for BC Housing to build some, some uh, second stage housing for people that are, that are right now unhoused That's residents it. of Surrey. We need to do that. We mm -hmm. must do that. That's, mm -hmm. I guess, priority one for me. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing uh, I know we're in desperate need of in this city is uh, daycare spaces, 
huge problem for Surrey. Mm -hmm. um, the, the number that they use right now is 30,000 daycare spots short in the wow. city. So that's big. That's, mm. that's preventing people to get out there and participate in the economy and we need them to do that. And they need to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so those are two big issues. For me personally, I want to continue to, um, to help build uh, um, resources in this city so people can understand each other better. Mm. Um, we're a, a city that has over a hundred languages spoken. Yes. Um, we're certainly a diverse population, there's no question about that. Mm -hmm. But I think we still get to those places where we don't quite understand each other. Mm -hmm. And we don't, um, we don't always know our neighbor. And we're, you know, Surrey is an amazingly mm -hmm. giving community. Mm -hmm. I, um, I've been involved in the mission at Surrey and I can tell you they spend more money on cleaning products than they do on food and mm -hmm. that's because of the generosity of the city. We mm -hmm. don't get funding, it's not government funded, it's all gifted. Surrey is a very generous community. We mm -hmm. just have to let people Maybe. know about what's what's happening in our mm -hmm. city better. Mm -hmm. That's nice. We will looking forward to it so we can make a city good, a city better than before. Uh, as the city pers uh, perspective, as the mayor's council, like all of them, as uh, one, uh, one council, uh, the new council, what are their plan to do something uh, for 2019? Well, I think we, um, for an exciting plan, if you will. I mean, one of the things they want to do is start the process for building the, um, the track, upgrading the track, doing a covered um, stadium around the track mm -hmm. at Bear Creek. Yes. That's, mm -hmm. going to be, um, yeah. that's going to be fun and exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really needed. I don't know if you've sat on those bleachers at that, yeah. or, at that track, but I, um, you'll get a splinter, so be mm -hmm. careful. <laughs> it's, uh, not, it's not very, yeah. uh, not very accommodating. Mm -hmm. We need a covered, covered stadium. stadium, there's no yes. doubt about that. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully we're going to start the planning process for that with a lot of the sports teams. That's, mm -hmm. that's exciting. I'm hoping mm -hmm. by um, in, 20, in 2019 we're going to have some real uh, solid information for people mm -hmm. on SkyTrain, how it's going to go, cool. and mm -hmm. where the where the uh, stops Stations are going to be. be. Yes, that'll be uh, exciting for people to know. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I think there'll just be a new enthusiasm in Surrey. I know I've talked to lots of developers that um, it's not only about developing the community and and the neighborhoods because there's no question you're right about it. We're getting a thousand people, eight hundred mm -hmm. to a thousand people a month in, in this city. city. We need housing. Mm -hmm. There's just no no uh, doubt about that. So mm -hmm. we have to keep growing that, but being really, really conscientious about building the infrastructure to support those mm -hmm. those new people coming to our city. Mm -hmm. uh, one last question. It came suddenly came into my mind. Business. Surrey so has many small businesses, but not a big business like people can get employment and stuff. Is there any good businesses coming in the Surrey or what are the plans? <coughs> well, as the city develops and when we when we look at the stats, Surrey, they reckon by 20, about 2025, 2030, will outpace in numbers Vancouver. Mm -hmm. So that, that's a natural flow to Surrey. Business is going to start to come to Surrey. We're hearing about that all the time. I can tell you though, um, one of the things that we struggle with is light industrial land and we're mm -hmm. looking for that all the time and developing those large centers. We have uh, done some of that in Campbell Heights, but we need to grow that um, significantly larger. Mm -hmm. The other part is, if you look at what is now becoming the downtown core of Surrey, which mm -hmm. is c central Santa city, city area, mm -hmm. um, it, it really is starting to develop into an exciting town center. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and over the next couple years, you'll see that even grow more. Um, I look out my window and I see Kwantlen, uh, Polytechnic, Polytechnic University Polytechnic. is right there, right at city center. Simon Fraser University is right there at city center. We are becoming almost, uh, the city center is becoming a bit of a university town, which is very, mm -hmm. very exciting for, for this city. So 
with all of that, I think we'll start to see big business going mm -hmm. in, mm -hmm. trying to go there. Because the other issue is it's so expensive to live in Vancouver, Vancouver. Yes. that business is moving out. Mm -hmm. They just, because their, their staff can't afford to live there. there. Yeah. So they they have to move out, and they'll they'll continue to move to to places okay. like Surrey. Mm -hmm. That's great. If we are looking forward to see more big changes in the city, so that people can tell that we are living in Surrey, that is a good city, and uh, come and live in this city because it's a really nice. We don't have to go to Vancouver or any other place or or other province to to get studies, get business, to live. So we want to be a city, Surrey, a good city. So thank you for coming and thank you for talking to us. Thank you for having me. Thank you, so thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, this time, Mary Nal Brenda Lock, Jinnah Nal Gal Baat Kiti. First of all, I met RC MP. Di Gal Kiti ki RC MP ek ende hai ki 1200. लोक 1200 मेंबर चाहिए हैं तो इन्हें अपने को 830 है गया आरसीएमपी दे मेंबर्स पर इन्हें नू ओ थाम पर अनवास्ते उन्हें मेंबर चाहिए हैं जेडे की एलिजिबल होने जेडे की उस थाम दे उत्ते आके काम कर सकन सो इट्स नॉट अ स्मॉल प्रोसेस इट्स अ बिग प्रोसेस टू चेंज जे होर आरसीएमपी दे मेंबर लेके आने कार बनाने द्वारा क्योंकि होम कार का टह गया लोग कानु रहना मुश्किल हो रहा है का लोग आ रहे हैं सो एक अंदर कि एक हो जाए पांच थामा लाभ के इन्हने ड्वॉक करना ताकि जड़ी होमलेस नस्ती इशू आ वो काट सके ते लोग लोग कानु कार मिल सकें क्योंकि लोग बहुत ज़्यादा सीधी ते वेच आ रहे हैं गया सो एक और गल की जड़ी स्काई ट्रेन दे वास्ते अद्दे लोग चानन है गया कि स्टेशन किथे बनने हैं किथे उन्हें जाएगी की होएगा सो कहने दे कि ऐसी ओस ओस प्लान दे नाल आना चाहने हैं कि लोग कानून का सॉलिड आइडिया होए कि स्काई ट्रेन किथो तो किथो तक चलेगी तो की स्टेशन होंगे सो ओ प्लान 2019 दे वेच दिया ये काम कर रहे हैं हम देख दिया कि जो ये वादे कर रहे हैं वो कदों तक पूरे हों दिया ते ये ही इन अधिक काउंसल पिछली काउंसल तो बढ़िया काम कर दिया जहाँ वो ही जिम्मेदार पक्के अंदर कि लारे लों दिया सो वो ये सारा कुछ इन अधिक कम्मा काम देख के पता लगेगा कि इन अधिक काउंसल रल के की काम कर दिया पर इन दिन आल गाल करके बहुत बढ़िया लग गया ते तुसी देखते रहो सांचा टीवी ते होने मेनू इत्थे दोए चाचा सस्त्रेका